Hi, I've been hold of some Dynamics and Robotics servos a while back. Uh, and since I got them, I've been itching to try them out in a couple of robotics projects that I wanted to do for quite some time now. But before I can start building some serious robots, I'm going to need a serious robot controller. And in this video, I'm going to build one. And then I'm going to build a simple self-balancing robot to use as a test harness for the controller. The major components I'm going to use uh, for this build is the ESP32D from uh, Espressif. I'm also going to use the NRF52840 from Nordic Semiconductor. And as the inertial measurement unit, I'm going to use the BNO055 from Bosch. I'm also going to add an expansion port in case I want to add uh, additional sensors or stuff like a display, for example, to future robots. The ESP has Wi-Fi capabilities, and this enables me to embed the web server on the controller. And with the web server, I can control my robot from my phone or my computer using a simple REST API. Both the ESP32 and the NRF52840 are Bluetooth capable devices. And with Bluetooth, I can integrate this board with Alexa via an Echo Dot speaker, or I can run uh, mesh algorithms like uh, OpenThread in case I want to do swarm robotics. Most of the self balancing robots I've seen on YouTube use uh, two servos or two motors for balancing. But uh, given the nature of these self-balancing robots, they tend to fall over quite a lot until you get the PID tuning correct. So I was thinking, why not add two additional servos to the robot and give it arms? Uh, with arms, it could right itself if it falls over, and it would be a lot less hassle than having to chase a robot across the floor when the robot wants to get away from you. So, moving on, let's build a controller, and then we'll build a simple self-balancing robot.